Hi everyone, it's Mr. Masuri here. I'd like to work through a second example problem for how to do calculations involving speed, distance, or time. Now in the first example problem, I asked you to find the speed, which is the easiest one to do. But one of the things about this formula, speed equals distance divided by time, is that if I give you any two of those, you can find whatever the third one is. So in the first example, I gave you the distance and time and asked you to find the speed. This time, I'm going to do one that asks you to find the distance. These ones involve a little bit more math, but still use the same steps that we did in the first example. So here's the problem. A football player ran for eight seconds with a speed of seven meters per second. How much distance did the football player run? So our first step is to make a list of what we know. So I look and it says he ran for eight seconds. Eight seconds is a time. So I put time equals eight seconds. Then it says he ran with a speed of seven meters per second. Well, that's a speed which is represented by the letter S. Now be very careful. Sometimes students confuse time and speed. Like time would be measured in seconds and speed would be measured in meters per second or miles per hour, right? Time and speed are not the same. And finally, it asks us how much distance he ran. Well, distance is represented by the letter D. So that's the first step, listing what we know. Our next step is to write the original formula. Well, we need a formula that has distance in it that has everything else we need to know. Well, that's the only formula we've learned so far. Speed equals distance divided by time. Our next step is to plug in the numbers. So we replace all the... Uh, letters we know with the numbers that represent them. So for S, we replace that with 7. For distance, we don't know what that is, so we're going to leave that as D divided by our time, which we know is 8. So that's our third step, plugging in the numbers. Our fourth step is to solve this. Now you have to show how you're getting this D by itself. We have to do the same thing to both sides. Well, we want to have just D equals blah. Well, right now we have D divided by 8. Well, in order to undo that divided by 8, we have to multiply both sides by 8. So, if we multiply both sides by 8, then we are left with 8 times 7, which is 56. And then we have D divided by 8 times 8, which gives us just D. Now, that's what I mean by showing work. I don't mean like long multiplication or anything. I just mean showing what you did to both sides in order to solve for whatever you needed to find. And finally, uh, we need to come up with units. Since this is a distance, the units will be in meters. So we can go ahead and box it, and that will be our final answer. You don't have to switch it around. All right, you could put D equals 56 meters. It's the same thing. All right, but what I mean, the thing that's different from the first problem is this part right here. You would have to show that you multiplied both sides by 8. You can't just do it in your head. You have to show on the paper that you multiplied both sides by 8. So um, that's our second example problem.